What's up, crew? It's Jason Medley with Our Visionary Financial Solutions. We fund your back-to-back -back closings, and we're the best in the business. Um, I wanted to touch base with you guys. I was just watching, actually, a video blog, very simple and similar to, to what you guys are watching right now, from Josh Cantwell. Josh Cantwell is associated with Streck, the strategic real estate coach. He's one of the baddest cats in the business. He knows the business in and out, big thinker. Um, and he was talking about how to potentially avoid deficiencies, okay? And it made me think that uh, of something that I want to share with you because that question is going to come up, okay, with, with the homeowner as well as with realtors. And when you're trying to justify, I won't say justify, but um, explain what you do, there's, there's a simple tip that I want to give you that's going to help you overcome an objection in there, okay? For example, when a, when a realtor, when you're, when you're talking to a realtor, telling them the advantages of, 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 of them utilizing you, um, say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Realtor, you've got a listing that's come on board. As soon as they get that listing, you can put it under contract, whereas initially it might take six months to go under contract. A lot of people are, are shying away from short sales because they don't want to wait that long uh, to, to, to figure out whether or not they may or may not get a deal. Okay, But sometimes when you're, when you're explaining and, and, and kind of selling your service to a real estate agent, they're going to ask you, Okay, so if you guys can get make this spread, potential spread, then that's going to increase the, the, uh, the potential deficiency to my homeowner, right, to my, my client. And the simple answer to that, guys, is not always yes, all right? And I'm going to tell you how to explain it to them and feel comfortable about doing it and have it make sense, okay? Now, the average deal, okay, there's guys out there that make, you know, 40000 There's guys out there that make... Five, and last week we did a flip for eight. Um, you know, the average deal I would say is somewhere we're probably between fifteen and twenty-five thousand dollars. Okay, now, so that means that your 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 seller or their their client could get a potentially larger deficiency, right? Well, here's the way I want you to think about it. Here's the way I want you to explain this. Okay, you put a contract in immediately when the the, the realtor gets the listing. Okay, day one. So. A normal transaction looks like the realtor lists it. Let's say six months down the line they get a contract. They start the short sale process, and six months later it closes. That's a year's worth of time, okay? Now, what happens for that first six months when nothing's going on? In this market, and where I'm at in Tampa, and probably where you're at if you live in America, um, is during that six months, what's happening? The homeowner's not making their payment. Okay, so what they owe, their balance, is increasing. Each time they miss a payment, that payment's added onto the balance. In addition to um, attorney fees and every other kind of fee that you can imagine that the lender can think of, and in addition to their balance growing, what else is happening? Right now, their, 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 home, their home value is falling as well, okay? So if that process doesn't get started, let's say for six months, okay, and then it's six months for, for, for before it gets closed if an in buyer comes in in six months. Okay, that's 12 months of that happening. Whereas if we come in and we put a contract on immediately and we start the process immediately with the lender, yes, indeed, there is a potential for us to make a profit and there, for there to be a deficiency. But think about it this way. If the homeowner's payment is 2500 bucks and their house is going down $2,500 a month because of the market, and you offset that curve by six months at five thousand dollars a month five thousand dollars a month with payment being missed devaluation in the property over a six month period that's thirty thousand dollars okay with you coming in jumping in immediately okay yes you can make a profit but is is that profit going to necessarily result in a higher deficiency if you can get the deal negotiated flipped and closed more quickly than a conventional route, okay, from a, from 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 the seller to an in buyer a homeowner that's going to live there, okay. I hope this is making sense to you guys. This is, is is a critical question that if you're not good with working with realtors, um, you 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 got to get this down. It's and it's really really simple, okay. Super simple tip, and I've never had a real estate agent or, or you better yet a client for that matter when I explain that to them, think to themselves, oh no, no way, because it makes perfect sense. Now, if you go crack a hundred thousand dollar deal out of the park, you know maybe uh, the late payments and market devaluation um, aren't going to offset a hundred grand, okay? But my point to you is, um, just simply explain, hey, we start the process day one. You got a listing, we start the process day one. You're not waiting six months for a buyer, 
and you're going to cut that time in half. And the quicker that that deal gets closed, okay, then the, 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 the house isn't falling in value and that the, the, the liability, what the client owes, isn't climbing each month. Because here's the potential deficiency grows each and every month. Property falls, what they owe grows, and it goes like this, okay? The longer it drags out, it goes like this. The potential deficiency continues to grow. And you're trying to accelerate that process because you're going to take all their deals and put them under contract immediately. I hope this has helped. Guys, I'm going covert, covert. I'm going covert for you. Co I can't even say that word. Covert for you in the morning, all right? I'm going to get up early. I'm going to be sneaking around, and I'm going to bring you a killer tip about how to build your buyer's list, okay? Um, it's really going to be geared mostly around uh, wholesale buyers. Mostly if you get a home that's banged up a little bit, needs quite a bit of repair. It's not going to be that great of a tip for um, homes that are immaculate and going to be sold to end retail buyers that are going to live in the home. Okay? But the bottom line is you're going to get homes that need a lot of love. Okay? Sometimes they're in the hood. All right? Um, that's the, the deal I told you, you guys about last week when we only flipped for eight grand. That's exactly what happened. It was in the hood. It was wrecked. We sold it to somebody that's going to rehab it and either resell it or rent it. Okay? And I'm going to give you tips on how to find those rehabbers, those renters, those landlords, people that want to buy houses that are wrecked because they know when they clean them up, they're going to get inherent value from that immediately, immediate equity from cleaning up that property. Okay? So stay excited. Keep your chin up, chest out, know that you can do this business, and I will talk to you soon, maybe tomorrow. I probably won't post, a, post, a, post it until next week, but stay tuned, all right? Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Be blessed.